With a yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11-3, Team Ogre Attacks. This episode, Neo National. Huh? What's Quagmire doing in midfield? I know he played in goal and up front, but now he's a midfielder too? Your places on the national squad will be ours. Prepare to lose, Inazuma National. That's right, Inazuma National versus Neo National. National National Nationwide Bank. Let's have a little look at the players of the team. I haven't really changed my actual team's formation since Qatar. Lots and lots of recognisable faces on this team. For example, Royal Academy's goalkeeper, King. He's from Royal as well. He's from Genesis. He's from... <laughs> Who cares? It's Archie Bargy. He's just a joke. We've got the captain of a cult in here. He's from Shuriken. Obviously, our big guy is formerly Dvalin, Dave Quagmire. And we've got the Jaywits. <laughs> Fair amount of subscribers on this team by the looks of things. I don't know why this guy's on the bench. This is a Prominence player who's like best mates with Torch from Prominence. He deserves to be the strike. Well, he's a midfielder, but he deserves to be on the pitch. But he's just kind of resigned to the bench. But I'm sure they'll bring him on at some point because that is a quality player who obviously, honestly could have been on Inazuma National. But then again, how is he any better than Torch himself? Where is Torch, anyway? Meanwhile, they've stolen the ball as per plot progression again, and now they've gone all the way to the front line to do a long shot. That makes sense. <laughs> Notably, though, that was not Dave Quagmire doing Gungnir, though. It's his signature move, but no! Quagmire used to use back in the Stavalin days at Arius Academy. Only about twice as powerful by the look of it. Have they been practicing each other's moves? Mark? How does it feel in Azuma National? How does it feel to see your precious places on the team melting away before your eyes? Um, it feels like a croaky throat. There you go, we're, we're done with the forced goals. Now we can play the game and you know what I really appreciate Neo National the stakes are incredibly high if we lose this match we lose our place on the team altogether all of us let's have a look at Fireball Screw I'll generally be using uh, Fireball Storm more than Fireball Screw because Fireball Storm can level up more times than this move can but we've got to at least try the Fireball Screw to level the scores after oh <laughs> okay they're OP they just stopped our strongest move which kind of brings me on to a point actually David Samford that's not right is it <laughs> David Samford is a, is the midfielder for Royal Academy no Joseph King the goalkeeper for Royal is a great goalkeeper he was the original threatening goalkeeper and there is a big problem with the, you know, the candidate squad for Inazuma National in this game. And I've, I've touched upon it before, but why is it that in the selection process, knowing that this team should have two goalkeepers, one for most matches and one for reserve in case he gets injured, knowing full well that the team should have two goalkeepers, why do only two goalkeepers get invited to the selection ceremony? Mark and Darren were obviously shoo-ins for the title. They should have, in my opinion, had Joseph King there as a candidate for the team. Especially when, you know, Jude was there, David Sanford was there, and in the manga, even Royal Academy's defender Drent was an Inazuma national candidate. Joseph King didn't get to be. And I find that a little startling. And by the way, we, we just we just beat him. But he stopped both of our shots before that while he actually had TP. That's seriously impressive. And they've taken him off for Heat? Heat is not a goalkeeper. 
Have they moved Dave Quagmire back? No, he's clearly in midfield. The man of many talents. He's been a goalkeeper. He's been a forward. And now he's a midfielder. The exact thing that this team is lacking. We only have Jude and Jordan. Um, okay, they're going to go with special tactics. All we can do is box lock or just let them have it. Because... I'll just use my TP uh, to respond later on. They're using the Ghost Lock. First time we've seen that since Inazuma 11, the very first game. In fact, yeah, it's really interesting to see a technique that was previously just a plot point in Inazuma 1. There was nothing else like Ghost Lock, but now it actually counts as an official special tactic, and that's cool to see. But, uh, wow, this first half has gone extremely quickly. But, yeah, Dave Quagmire, we've only got two midfielders, plus Thor Stoutberg, who's pretty much a mid a defender, let's be honest. It's a rub in the wounds to have him be a midfielder when he's not even on the team. Granted, I don't know if we wanted him, because he's a bit of a douche. But um, here's our actual midfielder just being a defender as he does. Oh, well, Thor Stoutberg, just get some story involvement later, will you? That's half time and we're not actually winning yet, so we're going to have to put the pressure on. All right, it's time for the second half. Let's do this merry time style. Let's not. <laughs> We don't have Caden Soundtown with us, much as he would have been great because he's a really good captain in the anime with great tactics and we need more midfielders and gah! Let's put Xavier on the field, let's just have an Alias Academy thon. I'll try and get more involvement from Jordan Greenway because this is, this is like his match in the anime where he comes into his own. He learns his own special move at this point in the anime. I'm not sure if he does such a thing here or not, but that's because in the anime he actually learns a move which in this game is just part of his regular level up move set. He learns a lightning, lightning sprint, which is a very, very good defense, uh, midfielding move, and yeah, they've got Heat in there as a goalkeeper. What? He's a midfielder on prominence who has an amazing goalkeeper, one of my favourites in the game, <laughs> Drent, uh, not Grant, Grant or Grant, one of those two, with his burnout. I love that move. But fair enough, Beast Fang has been passed on uh, to Heat, because in case the, you missed the dialogue, the gimmick of this team is that these are all great players, but they've passed their special moves on to one another. So Dvalin's... Uh, Gungnir has gone to that guy from Shuriken. Joseph King taught Beast Fang his move to Heat, while he also inherited Drill Smasher and Infinite Wall from other teams as well. It's a good gimmick, and to be honest, I think I want to give Dvalin a chance to score. Yeah, I'm going to let that happen, actually, because... Every character on this team has a plagiarized move, and you would not believe what they gave Dvalin. I'll just play it on screen towards the end of the match if I don't get to show it off. But I'm going to try my hardest to let him have a go, because, oh boy, I don't know if we were meant to take it seriously or not, but it's pure comedy. Um, okay, they're just going for goal with Wits instead. Well, I'm not going to take you lightly. <laughs> oh, I love this move. I'm a fire and my laser. <laughs> love Ganymede Ray. That's a that's an Epsilon shooting move. Don't, come on, Dave Quagmire. Get yourself back in the game because I... Oh, I really wanted to take a shot. I know I'm going to get it to him and then he's just going to go for goal with a regular shot. That'll just be so typical... But he has to try. No, no, don't pass to Todd. Don't pass to Jack. Uh, faint. Quagmire can steal it off me. Good. Go for goal, mate. Show us what you got. Um, I mean, I'm still going to try and catch it, obviously. But, please. Oh, what? That's your normal move! 
We've already seen Gung Nir in this match and he's out of TP. Fine, I'll reveal what his move is now and play the anime clip on screen. Dvalin's plagiarized move and he scored. Oops. His plagiarized move is the signature shot of Aphrodite from Zeus. God knows. And it looks incredibly unfitting. It's hilarious. But um, we've got the 3-2 scoreline. And funnily enough, I believe that is actually the scoreline they finish with in the anime. I believe the goals are scored by Axel and... Uh, Jordan and then either Xavier or Sean. Not sure who gets the last one out of that lot, but I guess let's go for a 3 2 finish because that is the canonical scoreline. Let's just roll with it. I can't do any special moves with Hobbs anyway. Guess I possibly could have if I fired up, but I'm not desperate to get another goal and I got it anyway because Heat is not a goalkeeper. So of course. He wasn't going to stop my goal. Why didn't I see that coming? Fine, it's a 4-2. That will have to do instead. That was the match with Neo National. We have defended our place as Japan's national team because we're kind of superior. Suck it up, losers! <laughs> Gah, the humiliation. I will not forget this feeling, this pain. You can... Count on that. Yeah, I'm feeling the pain as well in me throat, bud. <laughs> Please don't talk anymore. Looks like we lost this one. That was play worthy of a national squad. Congratulations, coach. Evans, you have proven yourself worthy. I hereby entrust our final secrets to you. Uh, okay, he gave us some manuals. Thanks for the manuals. <laughs> I wonder what they contain. We devised these moves over the course of our intensive training program, and then we didn't use them. Thanks, Dave. But make no mistake, this is not an admission of defeat. We will never stop trying. Slip for just one second, and we will be there, right behind you, waiting to take your places. After Kevin Dragonfly, because he's kind of first in the queue. I didn't think it was possible, but you lot have gotten even better since last time I saw you. You always were a persistent bunch. But the world is a big place. There are some incredible teams out there. And you're up against one of the best in the Asian finals. Huh? Nothing. Forget I said anything. I'll see you soon, okay? Farewell, Irizuma National. Until we meet again. I'm not evil anymore. Perhaps I can take on a normal voice from this point onwards. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're still evil because they have disappearing tactics for some reason. Bye. <laughs> Quagmire gave us two move manuals. They're both for shooting moves performed by two players working together. Wow! Two person shots! What kind of moves are they? Can I do one? I want to do one! No, this one's for Sean and Thor. <laughs> Why do you get to decide? Stoutberg's physique, power and stability should work well with Sean's speed to help punch through the enemy's defences. Gotcha, boss man! Leave it to us! Come on, Sean! Let's nail this! Right, or Two man special moves, huh? They sound pretty cool. How about it, Jack? <laughs> Me? Hmm. You might be onto something there. Okay, we'll have you two practice the other one. Oh, Mark, I forgot to tell you. One of my sources gave me a tip that might be really useful for improving the team. Apparently... Yeah, we can play extra competition routes with people other than Mr. Firewill. 
there in the shopping area and the football federation building so there are literally loads of extra competition route matches if you were to need it which you kind of don't so the final game of the european qualifiers is here at last and the tension is palpable can Orpheus, the Italian side, capitalize on a string of stunning victories and make it to the FFI finals? Paolo, sono precompitato. <laughs> Worry, our opponents, they are formidable, no? Can we truly win? Tranquilo, Gigi, you have no need to worry. The goddess of victory, she smiles upon us. The goddess of victory, Chi? Who is this? It is another Rikaza with whom you are making friends? Capita, Palo, you are our own Casanova, huh? Ha ha ha! I don't have a clue what you're talking about! <laughs> Forza, ragazzi, we must win! For Italia and for her! Si, Capitano! Speak in English! <laughs> That's the final whistle, and with that, the team going to represent Africa in the FFI finals is decided. I only wish we could have seen a little more quality out there on the pitch today. You're not wrong, Tony. It's hard to see how a team like this could go on to win the FFI. I think these lads are in for a bumpy ride. How was that little warm-up, you lot? Good, Chief. Hey, Chief, we're going to the finals. Boss, boss, can we play with some more power in the finals? Please, boss. Hmm, don't worry. When the time comes, we'll show the world just what you can really do. We are with you all the way, Chief. We will reach the top of the world. We will become number one. Son, you will be able to meet him at last. This Mark Evans of whom the boss always speaks. Yes. I look forward to the day when I finally face you, Mark Evans. <laughs>